Guys, today, we're going old school. I can almost hear that Swolger Nation music playing. We're gonna do just a badass arm workout. One of the body parts I get comments on the most is arms. Arms include, obviously, biceps and triceps. Triceps meaning three, biceps meaning two. So, from that, you can see the triceps, actually, for arm development, are gonna be a little bit more important, and today, I'm gonna show you the best way not only have strong arms, but also big arms. And let's remember, having stronger arms is going to equate into bigger arms because you're then able to use more weight through that hypertrophy rep range. So, you know, when we talk about hypertrophy versus strength, you have to look at time under tension, and that usually comes from the amount of reps you're doing. So people always say, well, lower reps is strength, higher reps is more for hypertrophy. That's true to some extent, but let's remember, it's really about the time under tension. If you do one rep and it takes, you know, it, when you do hypertrophy stuff, that's gonna take you a lot longer. You know, doing 10 reps is gonna take you a lot longer than doing five reps at the same speed. But if you slow those reps down, it's also, you know, you start blurring the lines there. So today's is gonna be both hypertrophy and strength. We got biceps, biceps brachialis. Um, you have the three heads of the triceps, the long head, the short head, and the medial head. It's gonna get awesome. You ready just for a freaking bicep pump? A bicep pump? Because let's be honest, the first thing when you step into the gym as somebody who wants to be, you know, you wanna get bigger, you wanna gain muscle, first thing you wanna do is train your chest, bench press, and then get great arms. Now these are great goals to have. You quickly realize that these aren't the only things you need to be worrying about, but it's always fun to come in and just train the pipes. Pipes, that's what we should probably name this video. Pipes, Python, Pipes, boom, let's go, start the music, cha-ching. First things first, gotta warm up the pythons. They're sleepy, they need to be aroused. Not creepy, not creepy, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking into you, that's creepy. Just some press downs and then we're gonna flip it off, we're gonna flip it off. We're gonna then do some hammer curls. And again, I always like warming up with cables. I just feel like they're easier on your joints and they provide constant tension throughout the movement. So I do three sets for warm-ups, eight to 10 reps, starting with lightweight and then going heavier and heavier. This is the problem you sometimes run into with machines. I'm still trying to warm up. But we got all the weight on there. So for that last warm up set, it's something that I could probably do, hmm, probably six more reps, but I stopped short of that. Let's get into it. Let's get into the real workout. Okay, so for our first superset, I always like to superset the arms. You get a crazy pump when you superset. We're gonna be doing both mass builders. So mass builder for the triceps, close grip press. Close grip triceps, tricep bench press. Um, again, getting nice and heavy on this. One of our compound movements we do for triceps. I'm gonna go 10, 8, 6 on this, superset with an easy bar, easy bar curl with my secret weapon. All the way up, all the way down. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my secret weapon, the arm blaster. What this does, 
makes things a little bit harder because you can't cheat. I can't be swinging the arms up. It's got that, this is definitely a hardcore. You can't bend this arm blaster. Not even if you're me. Yeah. We got 1086 on this. All the way up, all the way down. Squeeze at the top, half second. Always controlled, nice and slow. Focus, focus on the eccentric part. We get the concentric and the eccentric. Focus on that way down too. Looking at the clock, we got exactly 60 seconds. Arms, you don't need to take a lot of rest in. You don't need a lot of rest in between arms. My triceps are getting rest while I'm doing biceps. Love a good arm pump. Second set, yeah, we've gone up in weight. We got eight reps here. Still keeping that closed bench. I don't wanna see you doing closed bench and having your hands out where they're normally at on a bench press. That ain't cool. We're building triceps here. Make the most attractive faces when I lift. Ooh, wait, that pump's nice. Plus, you just feel cool walking around the gym with this. Hey, how's it going? What's up? What's up with you? And then you go like this, and your arms look bigger. So sometimes I don't even do arms, like on a leg day. I'll just come in and do this. <laughs> One ten. One ten for eight reps. Let's give it a go. I really just wanted to drop that weight, but I didn't. Nice controlled. We got one more set on each. You see me? You see me? No big deal. Close group tricep pressing 315. No big, no big deal. Right. Feels good. Feels good to say last set best set on this. I haven't said that in a while. I used to always say that. Last set best set. I still think it. I just don't say it as much because I figure you guys have heard it. But if you're new to this channel, last set best set. You heard? I heard. <laughs> No cheating the grip now. Supposed to get six. I got five. Where's my spot, Jake? Where you, Jake? Oh, you're not here. Cause I'm getting better, and you're not. I'm stripping off the weights, but I'm thinking I should just do curls here. So I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna do our last set of curls on the bench press. Is that illegal? It's not in the squat rack. Curls in the bench press area? That's legal, right? Yeah, we we don't use fake weight here either. No fake weight. You know who you are.
for a super set down. Harry, got that crazy look in your eye. So generally I like going heaviest, the heaviest movement first, those basic mass builders. Second thing I like to do is whatever that mass builder hit on, I try to switch it up. So for the triceps, we didn't really get, you know, we were stretching that long head, but now we're really gonna hit that long head of the tricep, standing behind the neck, tricep extensions. And here, rep range is gonna be a little bit different. I'm doing four sets, 10 to 12 reps. You guys notice at the top, it's all about twisting your wrist out. So instead of here, it's here. All right, we're supersetting those with hammer curls. Hammer curls, I'm still gonna use my arm blaster. And what that hammer curl is gonna do is that bicep brachialis. So that bicep brachialis kind of separates the triceps and the biceps. Um, I don't have a good one, I'm not gonna lie. You can barely see it on me. I have to be really super, super lean. I don't really have great muscle separation. Like most people have a great split. I get really bulky, but I don't have great detail separation in my arms. I'll be the first ones to admit it. We're all blessed with some things. Like I have a super long bicep head. You see like my bicep isn't high. I don't particularly have a great bicep peak or brachialis, but I got the girth. The girth, man. Yeah. For this first set, I'm just gonna do alternating. Just starting here, all the way up. One, two, three, four, Come on. Make sure you guys are going down all the way on this. Stretching as far back as your arms will let you. So veiny right now. Hey everyone, come see how vascular I am. You know what that's from, Cal? Mm -hmm. Family guy. Alright, we've done our pressing, we've done our overhead extension. Last thing we're gonna finish up with is more of a detail, a little bit of detailing in on that tricep. So really trying to get we have the long head, the short head, and the medial head. Really trying to get in that medial head here. This one's a little bit different. I'm gonna ask you guys, I have an open mind here. We're gonna be doing press downs starting at the chest and coming straight down. It's gonna feel a little bit weird at first. Go really light on this first one until you get the feel of it. And it's easy to start pressing with the shoulders, but it's gotta be triceps right here. I'm gonna be super saying that with one of my favorite peak. So I need I need more bicep peak. We're gonna be set, super setting this with one of my favorites. We're going spider curls, single arm spider curls though. Notice I have a straight bar here. You can do them with dumbbells. This is a little bit more unstable. Unstable, I should say. There you gotta control it.
And again, we, the reason I'm doing with a longer bar here, when you have something short and kind of just toss it all around, that's gonna require you to go nice and slow on the way down or else you're gonna be all over the place. You're just gonna look stupid, basically. That is our last set for triceps there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do a drop set. I wanted to be done, but I'm doing a drop set. Here we go. Drop set, do as many as you can. Drop that pin two or three, make it a little lighter, and keep going. One more. take flight with these wings on my arms here. Guys, that is all you need. Come in. I was probably, oh, how many sets was that total? Huh. It was right around nine sets total. Well, no, it was more than that. Right around 12 sets total for arms, 12 sets biceps, 12 sets for triceps. I'm um, probably looking at around 80, 80 reps total for each thing. Come in. If you can't touch the shoulders, you know that's a good arm pump. That's our, our kind of our indicator. So, guys, as always, thank you for subscribing to this, this channel. You guys have been here. For those of you guys who have been here since those old Soldier Nation days, the music playing, thank you so much. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys want to see coming up. Do you guys like these style of videos? I always appreciate the feedback and appreciate you guys being positive. So, leave a comment, subscribe, give this one a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Later.